and welcome to Channel of Arun Station. Uh, today I'm capturing this scene. Uh, this is landscape. I love to uh, teach about uh, landscape. So, what equipment I use for this kind of work? I'm using this uh, Tokina 12-24 lens. And uh, in camera, I want particularly 16 aperture because at uh, 16 aperture, I go to very tactile images. So, I'm using this. Uh, Tripod. This is mandatory. Uh, I will tell you the setting firstly. Uh, what uh, exposure I am getting right now? I am getting the shutter 15. Uh, this is very low shutter speed. And uh, aperture. I have already told you. I want and uh, ISO. I want 100. So this is the setting I want for. Uh, this landscape and uh, this is the tripod I want. Uh, particularly I am using, uh, I want to create a clear shot. So in my cam, uh, go to the menu part. So these are the settings you can uh, see on the screen. I am using manual mode, 1 by 15 is shutter, f16 aperture I want and 100 ISO. Uh, if you go to the menu part, then uh, you will get this exposure compensation. I want to make this shot HDR. So I am using uh, this uh, setting has uh, three shots. If you uh, rotate the dialer from here, then uh, you can see the settings are changing. I want three shots. Okay. Uh, I want uh, more than one stop of exposure in the positive side and the negative side. So press set, and then you will get something like this. And. Uh... Uh, there are some rules in the in the landscape photography, and uh, I'm using this uh, this this line as a leading line in my landscape. So let's see uh, what kind of sh uh, shot I got for this. Uh, one important thing I want to tell you is. Uh, I'm using uh, here is the timer. I'm using uh, two seconds of timer because I don't want any handshake for this shot. So how to set this? Uh, go to this button, then you will get a two second exposure. And uh, even uh, if you want to put this cam on the remote, then you have the remote setting. Then for a timer, I want for two second. If you get uh, So this is the shot I have taken. Uh, uh, these are three shots you can see there. And uh, this is the second one. And this is the third one. Now I will I will do a little bit of changes. Uh, I want vibrance about uh, 63 you can say. Uh, this is fine. Right click on there and uh, go to develop setting i want to copy copy all the settings like whatever i did changes in this image and i want to paste all these settings to this next image and uh, again to the next image okay these three images i want for my final result now i will select all these three layers by pressing ctrl and select each one of this right click on any one of this and uh, i want to export all these images go to export then click on export you will get a dialog box here so keep in mind that i want quality 100 percent image format i want jpeg and uh, click on export i want to write all these images Now the images has been export. So I want uh, this Photomatics Pro to create HDR effect. Click on this and uh, you will get this. I want to load the bracket photos. Click on load button and uh, select, the select the images. These are the three images I want now. Now you got the these three images. 
right and uh, click on ok then uh, you will get uh, some options there align source images i want mark on these options uh, these are mandatory remove ghost effect uh, reduce noise reduce chromatic aberration crop line images i want all these settings to my image Okay, now it is asking for to removing the ghost effect. Now it is creating HDR effect for you. It depends on the uh, system you have. Uh, no doubt it's a very heavy command and you requires a very high system. So this is the image I got. Okay, and, uh, and I can check uh, what image I want uh, you can you can see there many presets are already there uh, default I think uh, photographic okay neutral I think I should go for this by default value and this is fine this is very cool looking very cool effect okay I will uh, I will boost some color saturation. Uh, I think all I should go for this uh, strength. Okay, this is fine. Little bit of color saturation I want. Then you will get uh, two uh, options there: tone mapping and exposure fusion. I I always uh, prefer to work in a tone mapping. And uh, moreover. Uh, lighting adjustment click on there then i will try okay okay this is the medium one this is neutral so okay i think uh, natural is looking better for this type of work and uh, smooth highlights i don't want to smooth any part of this image i want very tack sharp for this micro smoothing i don't want okay i want very tack sharp image and uh, now click on the process rest of the work i will do with the photoshop and uh, camera Rock. click on okay and it will ask you to save this image go to file then i want to save image wherever you want to save this image okay the image is now the image is saving now this is the result i got with this lightroom and photomatics pro hdr now i click on this and i want to open with this image in the photoshop cc so that i can work on this image further so that i can fix all these things around it now make a new layer uh, control z and make a new empty layer and uh, i will try this uh, clone stem tool and it is very mandatory uh, i always do uh, work in non-destructive way non-destructive way is the way in which uh, we do not fix any thing on any layer suppose i want to work on this area and uh, i think i should make a new layer and uh, firstly i will try to this uh, using content aware i think this is the best way to remove the object from these images okay this is fine and uh, press shift f5 on the keyboard then you will get this dialog box i want this content aware now click on okay okay this is fine this is very fine uh, similarly here shift f5 very cool again shift f5 gone control d and make sure you are maintaining the gap in between the working area or means uh, selection and your subject now shift f5 click on ok okay it is now not removing now i will try this using this clone stamp tool again select this 
and make sure you have this uh, hardness zero click on there and apply here 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 Now this is before and uh, this is after. Now I will merge all these layers so that I can work easily with this uh, camera raw. Uh, go to filter then I want this camera raw. Now the final work I will do here. Okay I want little bit of uh, under expose, little bit of uh, low saturation. So that it looks very realistic white contrast and black contrast okay little bit of underexpose I want okay this is fine I think I should not go more with the black side and uh, sharpness I want uh, 128 and uh, this radius value I want 1.5 okay this is cool and uh, last I will do grad filter okay this value 0 0 0 0 and uh, clarity little bit of clarity I want okay I want uh, this side and expose so that I can maintaining the interesting area around this okay now I want a brush make it bigger and uh, click once on there I am creating interesting area and I will reduce I will boost the light in this area okay and this is fine and I click on this and uh, I will try to find out the best temperature here okay like this brush I will try to find out again where I can put more details in the image so I will go for this clarity slider and I will try to apply here so this is my local contrast This is fine. Okay, now click on OK. Now you can see that this is before and uh, and this is after. Very easily we have removed all the obje sub objects. So thank you friends. Keep watching our inscription.